Hey guys, so we got a new team of the week with a lot of good cards in it. We also got a bunch of new prime times that I want to go over as well, including uh, one for the 97 Phil Tomasino, one of my favorite ice dogs, as well as one of the team of the season cards I have. So he's now a 97. Again, guys, you want to check regularly at these prime times because a lot of them are going to have, because there's no season anymore, they're kind of just doing it randomly, and they seem to include a team of the season pretty regularly in here. So uh, we'll go over some of that as well. But first, let's start with the team of the week and go through all of that to see what is uh, worth and whatnot. So we'll start with the 97 Max Patcher ready. This, uh, again, when I'm going through these cards, this is uh, if you, you pack him, should you keep him kind of thing. So the nine, six foot two, 206, he's got great size, good speed, as well as a fantastic shot. This is honestly an end game card. If you, um, you know, if he's going to play in your top two lines, this is perfectly fine. Because even if you sell him, you're not going to find much better. And it's probably going to cost you another couple hundred if you want to get into the upper echelon in terms of left handed players. We're talking like Rantanen or someone like that. Uh, this would be a total keep by me. Uh, this is a fantastic card, even though he is a Golden Knight. After him, we've got the 97 Sean Couturier, six foot three again, elite size, speed, good shot, um, good on the uh, good on the dot as well. He's 99 faceoffs and really good hand stats. This again is another great end game card. Uh, I would honestly, he could be your first line center. He's better than the 99 Crosby in my opinion, uh, the Zetterberg, all of those 99s that are smaller. Um, he's got just good enough stats to you know be a top line player at this stage of the game. Following him, we've got the 94 Sam Reinhardt, six foot one, uh, 99 skating, shot in the mid 90s. Um, this is honestly is the same thing. The only problem with this card is only got 83 body checking. He is six foot one, um, so that shouldn't matter too too much. But um, you know, not a bad right-handed winger card either. If you're someone. Uh, who's got a like a 90-ish overall team? If this Reinhardt would be on your first or second line, you probably want to sell him for the coins. Uh, but still, a very very good card regardless. After him, we've got the 98 Johnny Goudreau. Unfortunately, Johnny Goudreau cards are the cards I kind of use as uh, my example as to what kind of cards you can't use because they're not really valuable in the competitive side of NHL in this stage of the game. They just the way that the game plays, it's um, he's just going to lose the puck too much, even with 99 uh, balance or 98 balance and 99 puck control. He's got perfect stats. There's really no complaints. It's just he's five foot nine. He's going to get bumped off the puck regardless. So I would sell him if I did pack him. And you've got the 95 Ryan Nugent Hopkins. Same kind of thing. This card is a lot like the Zetterberg and the Wayne Gretzky at 99. He just doesn't have 91 face off, so it means he's probably going to have to go on the wing for you. And there's just so many good left handed winger cards. He's just not tall enough or big enough to really make a difference. This would be a sell for me if I packed him. We've got the 87 of Genny Dadnov. If you're just starting out in Hut this year, uh, late in the year, it's actually a pretty uh, decent card f for someone out of the gate as he's got mid-90 speed with 2 to X as well. So if you activate that synergy, you're going to be in good shape. He's got mid-high uh, 80s uh, shot as well as hand stats that are just under 90 as well. This isn't a bad card at all, again, for someone who's just starting out in the last couple months or the last couple weeks and you're, you know your team isn't um, in the 90s just yet. We've got the 90, Kevin Fiala. It's the same kind of thing. He's just under 6 foot. He's got 99 speed, which is nice, and a shot that's at 89 overall. But, yeah, you're not going to be able to use him effectively because he's only 5'10", unfortunately. We've got the 90 overall, Nick Schmoltz. Uh, 6 foot, 97 speed across the board. High 80s for shooting. Uh, hand stats right around 90 as well. Only 85 at, uh, on the faceoff, so you're not going to be able to use him on the draw. So that means he's going to be a right-handed winger card. And again, same kind of thing. If you were to pack him, if this would be a card that you would use in your first like two or three lines, uh, I would just sell him because there's better options for you. Then we've got the 91 Brian Rust. Again, same kind of mold. 99 skating, which is nice, but still under 6 foot, so he will get bumped off the puck quite a bit. Is a winger card as he's only got 72 face-offs and right-handed. Like, I would rather have Schmaltz than him, um, but the, yeah, the Rust card, unfortunately, you would just want to get rid of. Then we've got the 85 Andreas Winger. I think it's Wingerly. Uh, if you are just starting out in Hut, I mean, he does have 99 skating, but the 5 foot 8 part is just extremely difficult but if you were just starting out and you wanted someone who's extremely cheap that is fast because speed is the most important if you start starting out right now that that's kind of interesting but this is tough and then andreas chrysler um this would be an avoid for me even if i was just starting hut today just not fast enough there's better cards that are around 85 to 87 that have high not mid to high 90s uh, speed and yeah just not not enough for me here to use him 
And then Chris Egley, six foot one. He's got nice height and speed. This would be a card I would go after if I was just starting out. He's got 90 shot power, 80 accuracy, which is usable for someone just starting out, as well as 99 skating, which is obviously fantastic. So you could do far worse, but this would be probably the best base card you could get, and you're going to be able to get him super cheap. So that is the forwards, guys. On to defense, we've got the 96 overall Miro Heiskanen, who's one of my favorite players personally, but he's got 99 skating and a mid-90 shot. Um, which is obviously fantastic. Is only six foot, but um, does have ninety to body checking, so that kind of, it, it's usable. Um, not to mention his shot is fantastic there. So you combine those two, plus his awareness stats are 97, 96, which is great. Stick checking is 97. Um, yeah, this this card's great. If I were to pack him, I'd probably keep him. There's not very many left-handed defensemen I'd rather have over him. Like I would probably rather have this card than Paul Coffey. It'd be close, but that's right around the same value. And we've got the 95 Dougie Hamilton. Any Dougie Hamilton card that comes out now is one of the best right-handed defenseman cards in the game. He's 6'6", 229. Like, you're just not moving him. He's got 99 skating, 96 shot power, only 88 accuracy, but that's fine. That's enough. As his shot's going to be good uh, from the point. Um, only has 88 body checking, but a 6'6 size will take care of that. Uh, this is, again, like I said, one of the best right-handed defensemen in the game. Then we've got the 93 Jake Muzzin, 6'3", 99 skating. He's got great size and, and speed. His shot's 92 power. You want to see a little bit higher at the stage of the game, but again, this would be a nice bridge card for anyone going um, you know, into the 90s for your, for your defenseman. At this stage, he's got 92 body checking, and his awareness stats are well over 90. This is a great left-handed defenseman card for anyone that can't afford like the master set guys or anyone like that. And the 92 Neil Pionk. Um, this one would be a hard avoid for me, even with 99 speed. Um, and the shot at 96 power, 86 accuracy. He's just 5'11". I would, I would rather have speed and size over the rest, so this would be an avoid for me um, if you were looking to grab this card. 85 Ryan Button. He's this would be a card for someone that's uh, you know got a very low overall base card team kind of thing like that, looking for an upgrade on defense. Six foot one with 97 speed is where it at. This is the kind of card you want to go and find. This would 100% be a buy. He's going to be very cheap for you as well. And then 85 overall, Jake Newton, exact same thing for uh, the left side as, I mean, well, they're both left-handed defensive, but 97 speed, uh, shot power is at 89, accuracy is only 76, so you're not hitting the net, but regardless, you need size and speed early on if you're just starting, and this would be a fantastic card as well. Both of these uh, third-pairing defensemen would be a great buy for anyone just starting out. Then in net, we've got the 93 Mike Smith, which is great because I use the 91 Mike Smith, and he's been fantastic for me. There's nothing wrong with this Mike Smith card, um, and he's cheaper than almost a lot of the other popular options like um, Dawes or Sogard. And the backup is Alexander Solin, just six foot one. nothing here. This would be an avoid. So, guys, that is going to do it for the team of the week today. And, again, like I said, go and look at the prime times as 97 Tomasino, which is great, which means, uh, you know, he's bumped up if you have his team of the season. And then they're also got the 97 Shvechnikov. That's a fantastic card as well. So be on the lookout for that as um, that would be one of the better uh, right winger cards in the game. So, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section down below these cards, and I will see you guys tomorrow.